Good day learners, it is wonderful to be on this platform again. We shall be looking at the topic, pricing and advertising of farm produce. At the end of this lesson, the learners should be able to define pricing and advertisement. List six price determinants. Explain three price determinants. Enumerate the importance of advertising of agricultural produce. Okay. What is pricing? Pricing can be defined as the fixing of price to particular goods or produce brought for sale in the market. It's a fixing. The act of fixing of price is known as pricing. Pricing can also be seen this way. When someone gets market, the act of bargaining between the buyer and the seller on a certain price of a produce can also be considered as pricing. Then what is a price? A price of a commodity refers to the value of that commodity in terms of money units that is the amount of money you have to pay in order to buy or acquire that particular produce pricing of agricultural produce can be affected by forces of demand and supply as well as a farmer's expected returns on the investment. Overpricing or underpricing will have negative effect on the sales of products. Overpricing is a fixing of high produce to the product of relatively low value whereas underpricing is fixing of a very low price for a highly valuable product. Appropriate pricing is therefore based on market forces, reasonable profit margin, and information of the value of the products or produce. It is definitely important as an it is definitely an important market function and serves the purpose of convincing consumers about the quality of the commodity it usually increases the volume of sales i hope you get that okay let's move forward factors that determine the price of agricultural produce there are factors many factors just like we talk about pricing Can be related directly or indirectly, in short, directly to the forces of demand and supply. Meaning, the forces of demand and supply can affect the price of agricultural produce in the market. Let's look at the factors. Number one, change in cost of production. For example, if the cost of the rent paid for land level and transportation rise the producer's total cost will increase that's the truth when there is increase in cost of production there will definitely be increase in the price of the produce number two forces of demand and supply when the demand of rice in the market is lower than the supply the price of rice in the market will fall. When the demand is lower than the supply, the price will fall. And if you look at it from the other side, which we shall see further, when the demand is higher than the supply, the price will rise. Okay. Seasonal produce. The price of agricultural produce usually falls due to excessive supply to the market during the season of produce 
and also rises to the peak during the off-season period. The truth is that, let's just take example of corn. When corn is newly harvested, you have a lot of it in the market. Definitely the supply will be high. And when the supply is high, the price will fall compared to when now the supply is low. So seasonal produce also can affect the price of agricultural produce. Quality of a produce. For example, the price of Polish rice or imported rice will be higher than the local rice because of the quality. Some of our local rice, the producers don't pay careful attention in packaging those rice. You find out that some of our local rice, you find stones in them. While imported or polished rice, you won't find such. So because of the quality of the produce, the price can be affected. The better the quality, the better the price. Quantity of produce in the market. When the supply of the produce is more than the demand, the price of the produce will fall. That's just it. When the supply of the produce is more than the demand, it will fall. And when the demand is more than the supply, the prices will rise. Market price of the produce. A sudden increase in the price of Gary in the market can lead the consumers shifting to related food stock like maize or yam flour. This shift will bring down the price of Gary. <laughs> can you see? Meaning, if a certain produce increases in price, Consumers will be forced somehow to shift their attention to a related product. We have civil unrest, war and government policy. The prices of agricultural produce can be influenced by the political events such as civil unrest, war and government policy such as removal of sub sub subsidy. Civil unrest, war, and government policy can cause the price of agricultural produce to fall or rise. Okay, advertising. What is advertising? Advertising is a practice of creating awareness to present and promote the product to the public in order to increase sales. That's the major essence of advertisement. To just create awareness to, in order to increase sales. Okay, what are the importance of advertising of agricultural produce? Number one, advertising creates and maintains a good public image for the product. Advertising gives information about the product to the consumers. It is it persuades the consumers to buy the product. Advert has a way of persuading the consumers to go after the product. It helps to convince consumers about the quality of the products. Advertising prepares the ground for marketing. It creates consumers' loyalty for the products. And that is the reason why products like Omo, Omo is the name of a product, is the name of a detergent. But today, almost all the targets are called home. There's a way of consumers paying loyalty to a product. I want to come to the condiment. Maggi is a brand of a condiment, but everybody now refers to all other cube of condiments as Maggi. That's a way of paying loyalty to the product. Okay. A group of media outlets for advertisement. These are divided into two. We have the print media and the electronic media. In the print media are newspapers, magazines, posters, handbills, pamphlets, flyers, journals. 
catalog, sign board and billboards. These are print media for advertising and cultural production. Okay, we're checking media, uh, radio, television, internet, and telephone. Okay, what are the problems of advertising and cultural produce? Lack of control in advertising of commodities. Lack of enough trained professional in advertising. Changing technology in the area of advertising. Proliferation of advertising agencies in the country. Government policies. Now let's look at the solutions to the problems of advertising. Okay, number one solution the control of advert advertised products should be strengthened. More advertising professionals should be encouraged, trained, and certified. The government policy should be relaxed in favor of advertising industry, especially tax and restriction. The advertising practitioners should develop and adapt to modern, modern methods of advertising. All online advertisements should be should be censored by relevant government agencies. The government should regulate the number of advertising agencies in the country. These are some of the pro I mean solution to the problem of advertisement. Okay, let's look have our as assessment. Um, question number one: Define the following: pricing and advertisement. Question number two. List five advertising media to be enumerate five importance of advertising. To see state three factors to be considered before the price of agricultural produce is fixed. Uh, if you find out that you can answer this assessment, go over the video again, which I believe by doing so you'll be able to answer these assessment questions correctly. Thank you for being on this platform today. Have a great day.